I could use it today. All right, we're gonna take a nice comfortable seat on our mat. And we'll close our eyes and begin to settle in. Ground down through your sit bones, lift through the top of your head, bring your shoulders up into your ears, relax your shoulder blades down your mat. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Put it out nice and slow. Another big deep breath in. Let it out. Inhale, arms lift up. Twist to the left, left hand behind you, right hand to your knee, lengthen through the crown of your head, gaze over your back shoulder. Get long and tall within each inhalation in and breathe. Look forward, unwind, inhale, arms lift up and twist to the right, right hand behind you, left hand to your knee. Lift to lengthen, gaze over your back shoulder. Look forward, unwind, plant your left hand down, right arm up and over. Reach through those fingers as far as they'll go. Reach, reach, reach. Come back to center, plant your right hand down, left arm up and over. And come back to center. We're gonna come back onto our backs. Draw your knees into your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball, exhale your head down, rock out your sacrum, rock it all out. Bring your feet down on the mat. We're gonna take our right ankle to our left knee, hold behind your left leg, gently draw your legs in, right elbow pressing against your right thigh as you find that just right spot, not too easy, not too hard, just right. Breathe your way in. Left foot comes back to the ground, right leg comes up towards the ceiling, taking hold of a straight right leg. We're going to make circles with our ankle. And then move the opposite direction. Point your toes. Flex through your heel. Point your toes. Flex through your heel. We're going to straighten the left leg out on the mat. Really press through your left heel. Gently draw the right leg towards the body. Lift your head in towards your shin and release down. Lift your head towards your shin and release down. One more, lift your head towards your shin and release down. Draw your knee into your chest, hug your knee in nice and tight. Take hold of the knee with the left hand. Open your right arm out to the side. Gently draw the knee across the body as you come into a gentle twist. Now check in. Can you rotate your rib cage to bring your right shoulder further to the mat and gaze at your right fingertips? Fully surrender to the mat beneath you. Connect to your breath. Look up towards the ceiling, draw your knee into your chest, hug both knees into your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball, exhale your head down, rock it out from side to side, rock it all out. Now bring your feet down onto the mat. Now it's the left ankle to the right knee. Hold behind the right knee. Gently draw your legs in on this side. Breathe your way in. Ooh, 
breathe into those hips, breathe into the IT band, wherever you might be feeling it. Release the right foot to the mat, straighten the left leg up towards the ceiling. Take hold of a straight left leg, make circles with your ankle. And move the opposite direction. Point your toes, flex through your heel. Point your toes, flex through your heel. Straighten the right leg out on the mat. Now really flex through the right foot as you gently draw the left leg towards your body. Lift your head towards your shin and then release down. Lift your head towards your shin and release down. One more, lift your head towards your shin and release your head back down. Draw your knee into your chest. Hug your knee in nice and tight. Take hold of your knee with the right hand. Open the left arm to the side. Gently drag your knee across the body. We're coming into a twist on this side. Can you rotate your rib cage to bring your left shoulder further to the mat? Gaze at your left fingertips. Breathe, connect to your breath. Look up towards the ceiling, draw your knee into your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball, exhale your head down, rock out your sacrum, rock it all out. Bring your feet down onto the mat, we'll roll to the right side, we're gonna come up to a tabletop position, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. On your inhalation, drop your belly, lift your heart, look up. Pull your belly button towards the ceiling, round the back, coming into cat. Move in and out of cat cow with your breath. At your pace. Come back to tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, coming high up on your toes. Lift your hips, press your heels back and down, pedal your feet. Sink into your downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide on the mat as you press back through your palms, back through the pads of your hands as you press back. Strong arms. Feel your heels like weights pressing back towards the mat. Wave forward into plank. Take a moment to really come into your plank. Core engaged, belly lifted. Shoulders over top of your wrists. Breathe your way in, hugging in towards the midline. Breathe. Hug in towards your midline here. Breathe your way in. Keep breathing, you got this. If you're shaking, that's a good sign. It's your body build, breaking down to build back up, breathe. Lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing. Exhale down, diggity dog, take it back. Look between your hands, walk your feet up to the top of the mat, lengthen through, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up, reach up, exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, arms reach up, sweep high, fold forward, ooh, tanasana. Inhale, halfway. Fold, plant your hands, step, hop or float, back to plank, core is engaged, belly lifted, breathe. Lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing. Exhale down, dig it out, five deep ujjayi breaths. Look forward between your hands, step, hop, or float to the top of the mat. Lengthen through, fold. Inhale, arms lift up, reach up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up, reach high, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, plant your hands, step, hop, or float, back to plank, core is engaged, belly lifted. We're gonna take our left leg up and then back. Right leg up and back. Come down on your right forearm, left forearm. Press back up to plank. Now, right leg and back. Left leg and back. Left forearm comes down, right forearm comes down, press back up. Left leg, back, right leg, back. Come down onto your forearm. Press up, right knee up and back, left knee up and back. Come down onto your forearms, press back up, press back down, diggity dog. Woo, bet you're feeling that one. I sure am. Breathe your way in. Look forward between your hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Lengthen forward and fold. Inhale, arms lift up. Woo! Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up, reach high, swan dive forward. Ooh, Tanasana. Inhale, halfway and fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. All right, so here, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. Right knee in, right foot back. Left knee in, left foot back. Go as slow as you'd like or as fast as you'd like. Breathe. Just keep hugging in towards the midline. Hug it all in. Building the heat. Engaging the core. Connecting with your breath. Smiling maybe, having fun. Breathe or not, or frowning and yelling at me. I'm okay with that too. And lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Press your hips to your heels. Take it back to child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat. Take a big, deep breath in. Let it out. Keep breathing. Tuck your toes, lift your hips down, diggity dog, take it back. Woo! Look forward between your hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Lengthen through, fold. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up, reach high, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, fold, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down, diggity dog, take it back. Right leg lifts up, reach high. Press out through your heel. Draw your knee and step through high runner's lunge. We're coming up on the tip. We're staying up on the toes of the back foot, but we're lifting our arms up, hugging towards your midline, breathe. Hands come together at heart center, twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh.
Come back to center. Hands come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left leg lifts up, reach high. Draw your knee in, step through. We're gonna come up into a high runner's lunge. Stay on those back toes, arms sweep up. Press out through your back heel, really straighten that back leg. Lunging forward, hugging in. Hands come together at heart center. Twist to the left, right elbow. Left thigh, spiral. Solid foundation in your legs. Come back to center, hands come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale down, diggity dog, take it back. Look forward, step, hop, or float to the top of the mat, lengthen through, fold. Inhale, lift up, reach up, woo! Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, utkatasana, chair, sit back deep. Fold forward, inhale, halfway. Fold, plant your hands, step, or hop back to plank. Core is engaged, belly lifted, breathe your way in. Lower down, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. Right leg lifts up, reach high, press out through your heel, draw your knee to your nose at the top of the mat, hug it in, hold it there, take it back and up. Draw your knee and cross the midline, touch the outside of your left elbow, take it back and up. Draw your knee and touch the outside of your right elbow, take it back and up. Draw your knee in, step through Virabhadrasana one, lift up. Open Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Gaze over the nail of your front finger, breathe. Hug in. Straighten your front leg, tree kanasana, triangle on this side. Spiraling open. Open up, lift up, bend your front knee, palm of the front hand face up, exalt your warrior, reach back. Bring your hands to the top of the mat. Step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take it back. Left leg lifts up. Reach high. Draw your knee to the nose at the top of the mat. Hug it in. Hold it there and take it back and up. Draw your knee and cross the midline. Touch the outside of your right elbow. Take it back and up. Draw your knee and touch the outside of your left elbow. Take it back and up. Draw your knee and step through. Virabhadrasana one, plant your back foot down, arms sweep up. Open arms up, Virabhadrasana two. Straighten your front leg, tree kanasana, reach, reach, reach. Coming into triangle on this side. Press into the feet, arms lift up, bend your front knee, 
Palm of the front hand face up, exalt your warrior, reach back. Windmill your hands to the top of the mat. Step back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down, diggity dog, take it back. Breathe in your downward facing dog. Connect to your breath. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Press out through your heel. Draw your knee in, coming into pigeon on this side. Woo. Lift up, proud pigeons, puffing out your chest and your heart. Lead with your chin as you wave down. Inhale, lift up, lead with the back of the neck. Take two more waves here, coming down and lifting up with your breath. And then coming all the way down, you prayerful pigeon. You can land on your forearms. You can bring your chest down on the mat. Breathe your way in. Lifting back up, proud pigeons, puffing out your chest and your heart, pour weight into the right side. Take your left leg over and around. We're coming in to a nice comfortable seated position with your leg crossed over your other leg. As you lift up, begin to twist to the left, hugging your left knee in. Get long and tall and gaze over your back shoulder. Look forward, unwind. Looking back to center, unwind, take it back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up, reach high, draw your knee in, coming forward into pigeon on this side. Lengthening up, proud pigeons puffing out your chest. Lead with your chin coming down and lifting up. Coming down and lifting up. One more, come on down and lift up. And then coming all the way down. Lifting back up, proud pigeons, popping out your chest and your heart, pour weight into your left side, taking the right leg over and around, ground down through your sit bones, lift through the top of your head, gaze, begin to twist to the right, hug the, the right leg in towards the knee, gaze over your right shoulder. Look forward, unwind, gentle counter twist to the other side. Take both legs forward in front of you. And we're gonna come back down onto our back. Slowly, slowly, slowly coming down. Draw your knee into your chest. Lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball. Exhale your head down. Rock it out from side to side. Rock it all out. Bring your feet down onto the mat. We're going to bring our hands down at the sides, press into your feet, lift up, lifting your hips up, coming into bridge. Slow. 
slowly coming down one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly, slowly. Draw your knees into your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little bowl. Exhale your head down, rock it out from side to side, rock it all out. Bring your feet down onto the mat. Open your arms out wide like a T. Let your knees fall over to the right as you gently turn your head left. Surrender into this shape. Lift your knees up to center. Let them fall over to the other side as you gently turn your head to the right. Lift your knees up to center, extend your legs out on the mat. Let your feet fall open, arms come down at your sides, palms face up, open to receive. Do whatever you need to do to get as comfortable and cozy as possible. Really settling into this shape. Letting go of anything that's left over. We'll close today's practice with a Meditations from the Mat, Daily Reflections on the Path of Yoga by Rolf Gates. Starts with a quote from Adrian Rich that says, the unconscious, tr the unconscious wants truth. It ceases to speak to those who want something else more than truth. Self-study is an aspect of the practice of truthfulness. Any serious attempt at truthfulness requires us to listen deeply to the promptings of our heart. The truth is usually quite simple, but expressing it is another matter. As I bring higher levels of honesty to my everyday interactions, I am struck by the need to sift through layers of illusion blame, fear, and manipulation to get at what I really need to say in any given situation. The good news is that truth is music to the soul. There's no end to the soul's ability to bask in the presence of the truth. Millions of people in 12-step programs sit around in church basements by the hour listening to one another talk about themselves. It may sound boring, but in fact, it is captivating because the people in those rooms are telling the truth. It is captivating because spending time in the presence of others who are telling the truth inspires us to do the same. To practice this aspect of self-study, examine the level of truthfulness in your workplace, family, and relationships. How much time do you spend in the presence of people who are telling the truth? How much do you spend with people who are not? What is it like when you hear the truth? What is it like when you do not? What fears keep you from being honest? Is it true that like attracts like? Does honesty beget honesty?
Take another big deep breath in. Let it out nice and slow. Bring small movements to your toes and to your fingers and maybe moving your head from side to side. When you're ready, bend your knees, bringing your feet to the mat. We'll gently and carefully roll to the right side, pausing there for just a moment. When you're ready, slowly push yourself up to a nice comfortable seated position, eyes closed, hands at heart center. Yoga will teach you so much about yourself. It will help you become flexible in mind, body, and spirit. For that, I am truly grateful. Thank you so much for coming to class. Namaste. Good work, yogis. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day.